Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. As you can see from the title of this video that we will discuss about all the properties of a right angle triangle. So let's begin our topic with the basic properties of a right angle triangle. The most important property of a right angle triangle is that one angle of a right angle triangle must be of 90 degrees. So if I name the vertices of the triangle as A, B and C respectively, then I can say that this triangle ABC is right angled at the vertex B. Since the sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, then the sum of angles of A and C will be equal to 90 degrees. The longest side of a right angle triangle is called as the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. The side opposite to the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is called as the height or the perpendicular of the right angle triangle and the third side is called as the base of the right angle triangle. The naming of a right angle triangle is very important because it is directly related to trigonometry and heights and distance which contains a major part in most of the exams. So I would suggest that you listen this topic very carefully and try to understand whatever I say. If the height and the base of a right angle triangle are equal then I can say that angle A is equal to angle C and both are equal to 45 degrees. Now you can easily verify this statement by taking these two angles as x and x and since 2x is equal to 90 degree then x is equal to 45 degrees. If I take the height as p, the base as b and the hypotenuse as h then I can say that the perimeter of the right angle triangle is equal to p plus b plus h. Now area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height of the triangle then I can say that the area of a triangle is equal to half into b into p of the triangle. Over here b is the base of the triangle and p is the height of the triangle. Now there is a very famous theorem related to a right angle triangle which is called as the Pythagoras theorem. Now it is a very important and interesting theorem and it has many applications in real life. So the theorem says that the sum of squares of the height and base of a right angle triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So in short what the theorem says that p square plus b square is equal to h square for a right angle triangle. Pythagoras theorem is valid for all the right angle triangles and if a triangle does not follow this theorem then it is surely not a right angle triangle. I have made a separate video on Pythagoras theorem where I have discussed all the basic properties including the proof of the Pythagoras theorem and I have provided the link down in the description. So if you have any doubt regarding this theorem and after watching this video you can go watch that too. Let's say you are given any two lengths of the sides of a right angle triangle then you can easily calculate the third side of the right angle triangle by the Pythagoras theorem. So suppose if you are given the height as 3 and the hypotenuse as 5 and have to calculate the base of the right angle triangle then by using the Pythagoras theorem I can say that the base of the right angle triangle will be equal to 5 square minus 3 square which is equal to under root of 16 which is equal to 4. So I can say with this given information the base of this right angle triangle will be equal to 4 units. Now collectively these three numbers 3, 4 and 5 are called as the Pythagorean triplets because these numbers follow the Pythagoras theorem and there are as many as infinite Pythagorean triplets. Now our next topic is the circumcircle of a right angle triangle. Now circumcircle of a triangle is basically the circle that passes through all the three vertices of the triangle and it lies outside the triangle. Now for the case of a right angle triangle if the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is h then the radius of the circumcircle will be equal to h by 2. This is because the center of a circumcircle of a right angle triangle lies at the midpoint of the hypotenuse. So thus the radius becomes equal to h by 2. Now if we know the radius of the circle then all the other properties become very simple. So then the circumference of the circle will be equal to 2 into pi into r and over here r is equal to h by 2. 
which on simplification becomes pi into h. So the value of the circumference of a circumcircle of a right angle triangle is equal to pi h. Now by this we can also calculate the area of the circle. Now area is equal to pi into r square. Now we know that r is equal to h by 2. So we can directly say that the area is equal to h by 2 whole square which finally becomes pi h square by 4. Now for the circumcircle you don't have to remember any values. You just remember that for a circumcircle of a right angle triangle the center of the circle lies at the midpoint of the hypotenuse and by this you can easily calculate the circumference and the area of the circumcircle. Now our next topic is incircle of the right angle triangle. Now basically incircle of a triangle is the largest circle that can be drawn inside a triangle. The radius of the incircle of a right angle triangle is equal to P plus B minus H whole divided by 2. We can easily derive the value of the radius. Now if this is R then this part is equal to P minus R and if this part is R then this is equal to B minus R. Now you can easily see that this line and this line, this line and this line are tangents to the circle and tangents for a circle are equal. So I can say that this part is also equal to B minus R and this part is equal to P minus R. So I can say that P minus R plus B minus R is, is equal to H and upon simplification we will get that R is equal to P plus B minus H divided by 2. So if you understood this concept then you don't have to remember this value you can easily derive it. So if the radius is equal to P plus B minus H by 2 then the value of the circumference of the circle is equal to 2 into pi into P plus P minus H by 2 which on simplification will be equal to pi into P plus B minus H. The value of the area will be equal to pi into P plus B minus H by 2 whole square. For this case too I will suggest that don't remember the values just understand the concept and you will easily calculate each and every value and you will be able to solve all the questions related to this topic. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy.